Hello, my Taurus babies. Welcome to Sold Out Tarot. This is going to be a love reading for July 6th through the 11th with, um, excuse me, for anyone with Taurus in their sun, moon, or rising. <laughs> my dog is here. Hi, you're a good girl. <laughs> Okay, guys, so in the spread, we're going to take a look, okay? Let's look at the current energy of the relationship that you guys are in, okay, with the person you're thinking about. We'll look at um, your feelings, their feelings, okay, the obstacles, the best approach to go about these obstacles, and then the potential, okay? All right, let's dive in here. So, the overall energy this week for your relationship, Taurus. Okie dokie, the world in reverse, yay! <laughs> okay, so some of you may be going through a separation, okay? This is, um, or fighting for your relationship, okay? This is an energy of, um, a dead end, okay? But also an energy of zero closure, okay? Um, three of wands, so there's an energy of strategy, okay? Um, this is also the travel card, okay? So a lot of you could be leaving the relationship, okay? Um, a lot of you might be saying, nope, I'm gonna fight for this. I'm gonna go see this person, okay? Or this could be, um, the energies could be reversed, of course, okay? Yeah, the Eight of Pentacles. Um, this is definitely an energy of the, you've put a lot of work, um, into this relationship so it's very hard to just let it go okay um yeah so that's the overall energy of the relationship this week is i don't want to let this go but it feels like i need to let this go okay um okay let me just shuffle really quick and we'll grab um your person's energy okay let's see how they're feeling let's check in with your person okay spirit please give us a deeper look into Taurus person. Okay, the hermit in the reverse. So, yeah, some of you may not be in communication with this person, okay? Um, this person is feeling very disconnected and withdrawn from this relationship, okay? Um, wow, so the tower in the reverse, um, they're terrified to take this new step okay, if that means stepping away from you, um, it's a very stuck energy, okay, they don't want everything to fall to pieces, but they feel like they have little control over that, okay, um, the five of cups in the reverse, this is an energy of forgiveness, okay, but it's also an energy of acceptance, almost, I'm sensing, like, cutting their losses, okay, almost like, I forgive you for being human, but now this person is, still dealing with their own hurt, okay, and kind of evaluating where they are, and um, you could, guys could be dealing with a Virgo, okay, with the Hermit card here, but um, mostly it's just the energy of being withdrawn, and if this person is um, in a state of grief, they could only not just be withdrawn from the relationship, but from you also. Okay, the Page of Wands in the reverse, so yeah, this person's uh, feeling very blocked, they don't know what to do, Okay, um, this person could be very, I don't know if paranoid is the right word. Paranoia is more like when this comes up upright, it can be like the watching, like the spying card of the deck. This person's kind of done. They're like, I don't want to invest any more here. I don't want to look at this. Um. Taurus, what happened? Okay, the Knight of Pentacles in the reverse. Yeah, so this person's very hesitant. They're also distracted, okay? Um, with the Knight of Pentacles, they could be focusing on their job, their career, um, a completely different energy, okay? And not communicating with you, not communicating with themselves, okay? It's a very, um, it's a stuck energy, but... It's also, it's like embracing change, embracing transition, right? Okay, 
Taurus, let's check in with you. Where are you at? What are your um, emotions right now? What is your energy? Okay, I, when I cut the deck to shuffle, it was the high priestess and the lovers. So you guys really need to go within right now. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, your energy is like, I want commitment. <laughs> the four of wands, that's a milestone card. Um, yeah, some of you guys may be like, I don't know. Some of you guys may be wanting to commit to this person and this person is not able to give that back to you. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, you want a new beginning, Taurus. You want a new start. Um, wow. You want success, okay? You want love. You guys are on such opposite ends here of the spectrum right now. Yeah, the artist. <laughs> you guys... Um, it's like you, wanna, you want to nurture this connection right you want to like plant the seeds for it to grow you want to watch the creation right ten of pentacles yeah um you see this person as it all right um overflowing with happiness this person uh you feel like they complete you right you might have um the career, right, or the house, or the friends, or the family, but where's the love? You feel like this person is it. When I think about spending my life with somebody, it's this person. Okay, the chariot, yeah, wow, you guys really want this to go forward, okay? Um, some of you could be dealing with a cancer, but the chariot is like, I want to take action. A lot of you may be, like, proposing to this person, and they are saying no. Wow. Okay. Or propositioning, um, you know, com some sort of commitment, right? You guys want it so much, but, the, yeah, something happened here. The shadow card. It's a failure to go within, Taurus. There are secrets, Okay. This person might not be talking to you right now, okay? But this is, like, repressed, okay? Like, this is, like, stuff, like, um, either you or your person, like, nobody's saying anything, okay? There's not that communication there, okay? Nobody's saying how they truly feel, oddly enough. With how bright your energy is showing up, there's not communication about this at all. And this person's ready to walk away. They are ready to cut their losses. Um, Okay. Taurus, let's take a look into what these obstacles and blocks are here, okay? Let's go deeper. But, um, wow. Yeah. Taurus, if you haven't checked out your shadow work video um, that I uploaded, it may be beneficial for you. Um, it might connect. Wow, okay, so I just cut the deck and... Um, I see the devil, okay? You guys um, are addicted to this person. <laughs> There's an obsessive energy here, but it's not a healthy addiction. So let's talk about this, the obstacles. Four of cups in reverse, yeah. So this um, is a depressed energy, right? It's a very um, I'm over it energy. Um, sadness that this happened, right? But it's from your own viewpoint, okay? There's um, there's not a lot of empathy, okay? And so your obstacle is to try to see things from this person's point of view, okay? And how they're feeling and vice versa. Now, for the five of swords in the reverse, this is an energy of reunion, okay? But it's showing up as the obstacle, Okay, this person, um, they really might need a minute, okay, to figure out what it is that they want, okay? The beautiful thing is this is an energy of empathy also, so it's like back and forth, back and forth, okay? The obstacle might be you coming out of seeing it from only your viewpoint, okay? Or them coming out of seeing it from only their viewpoint and them having um, empathy and understanding and it's still not 
coming to terms, okay? Yeah, the Nine of Wands in the reverse. This is a very much an ego card, okay, guys? It's self-destruction, okay? Um, if your heart is hurt, that might be a huge trigger for you where you want to go self-destruct. Again, I just saw the devil, okay? So be careful, you guys, okay? Overindulging, okay? Um, if some of you are struggling with addiction, this could be a huge reason why your person is walking away, okay? They cannot be the ones to save you. Energies can also be reversed, but you are really showing up as um, the one wanting this, okay? Obviously. The King of Wands just flew out, guys. So that's a card of having influence. It's somebody who is seen as a leader and respected for it, okay? Um, so that's interesting. You guys, there's... There is a lot of respect in this situation, interestingly enough, okay? Now, let's look at the best approach, okay? And that could also be what the King of Wands is going uh, towards, okay? Embrace who you are. Don't shine light on your um, weaknesses, Taurus, okay? The Excuse me, the temperance just came out. So some of you can be dealing with a Sagittarius, okay? But the universe wants you to know, okay, that the best approach is to have patience, okay? Try to bring balance, ground yourselves, okay? Connect with the divine, okay? Even during all this pain, the divine is with you always, okay? And if you can find harmony there, you can bring it into your life also in the 3D, Okay, page of pentacles in the reverse, okay? The best approach. This person is, um, they hold a lot of resentment, okay? They're impatient. They don't, like, know how to go about doing everything, okay? So it's really saying here, guys, be patient, okay? It's okay to not know what to do right now. Just be. Your only job is to just be. Yeah, king of cups. Okay, this is somebody who controls their emotions, right? They're generous, okay? They are balanced, okay? The best thing you can do is just connect with yourselves, okay? Connect with your emotions, be aware of them, but do not allow them to control you, okay? Shadow card is the star in reverse, okay? I know this is painful, Taurus. <laughs> But this is a state of renewal, okay? That's the purpose. Now, let's look at the potential, okay? Going forward here, what can we expect? Okay, those are flying out, wow. Okay, so we have the Queen of Swords and the Eight of Swords in the reverse, okay? So this is an energy, okay, of somebody... They are able to release themselves, okay? The Eight of Swords, when somebody's in this energy, the woman's wearing a blindfold, okay? Like, yeah, things are really hard and really painful, but they don't even realize they can take the blindfold off, okay? The potential is somebody can take the blindfold off and realize they may have more control over their circumstances. It's taking accountability for your actions. If you have caused this person pain, Taurus, Okay, it's taking accountability, okay? It's a discovery, okay? That you do have the power to change it, okay? But it has to come from within you, okay? And that's where the Queen of Swords is showing up, okay? This is somebody who has self-control, right? They're going with the flow. They know what they're going to do. They have a plan. And they're committed to that. Yeah, Six of Cups, wow. So this is nostalgia, right? This is also connecting with your inner child, okay? It's joy. It's lightness of the heart, okay? But I definitely sense that a lot of you are going to have to take some accountability, okay? In this situation, if you want to save it. The shadow card. Two of cups. This is a very deep connection to ours, okay? This could be a twin flame soulmate connection, okay? This is divine love. All of this has purpose, but it's up to you, okay? 
Taurus, I hope this was helpful. Please give this video a thumbs up if it resonated, okay? I love you guys so, so, so much. Be kind to yourselves. Bye.